Welcome, welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example, we will solve a radical equation. You see it here. And let's see how we do it. Square root of 2x plus 3 minus square root of x plus 2 equals 2. So first of all, I'm going to isolate one of the radical and I'm going to isolate uh, the first one, square root of 2x plus 3. So how am I going to do that? By adding the square root of uh, x plus 2 on both sides. And then I have, like I said, just square root of 2x plus 3 on the left side. And on the other side, we have 2 plus square root of x plus 2. Okay, and now we want to get rid of this square root of 2x plus 3, and we're going to do that by raising to the second power. So then we have here 2x plus 3, because the square root and the power of 2 cancel out, and the right side will be, we can use FOIL or we can use the perfect square pattern which says 2 squared which is 4 plus 2 times 2 which is 4 times square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x plus 2 squared that will be just x plus 2. So like, like I said if you do not see this uh, pattern the perfect square pattern you may want to use foil and you should get the same answer. Let's simplify the right side first. And we have here 4 square root of x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus 2, 6. So wanna, now we want to isolate the last radical, this 4 square root of x plus 2. So I'm going to subtract x and subtract 6 on both sides. And I'm going to get here x, right? 2x minus x is x minus 3 equals 4 times square root of x plus 2. And you can divide by 4 here or you can raise both sides to the power of 2, which I will do it to get rid of the last square root. So we're going to have here x squared, and again I'm going to use the perfect square pattern, or you can use FOIL, minus 6x plus 9, and on the other side we have 4 times the quantity, no, in fact it's 4 squared, which is 16, right, don't forget we need to raise the 4 also, times the quantity x plus 2. Okay, so now we're going to use distributive property for the right side and we have x squared minus, 16, minus 6x, I'm sorry, plus 9 equals 16x plus 32. And since this one is a quadratic one and equals to 0, subtract 16x, subtract 32 on both sides. And as you notice, these two guys cancel out, these two guys cancel out. Yes, we want that. We, are, we want this 0 here on the right side in this case. And then we have here x squared minus 32, minus 22x, I'm sorry. Minus 22. Minus 22x minus 23. So here we can use factoring, I think. We're looking for two numbers whose product is negative 23 and the sum is negative 22. So that will be negative uh, 
23 so product and sum right so, and one so the factor form will be x minus 23 times x plus one equals zero we're going to use the zero product property now and we're going to have the first factor equals to zero or the second one equals to zero the first one is going to give us the first factor equals to zero is going to give us x equals 23 the second one is going to give us x equals negative one now whenever you have a radical equation you want to check the solution and see if it's a good solution or extraneous solution okay how you check it you have two ways one way is the classic way to plug it in and see if it works I'm going to choose a graphical method and you see here I put the uh, left side of equation on y1 and the right side on y2 and basically now I have these graphs okay this is y1 the left side this is y2 the right side the horizontal line and they intersect right here okay uh, you can look on your table or uh, uh, on your graphs and you'll see it. that's the good one this is what we call is an extraneous solution it's not going to work for our problem if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you